What is going on guys, this is GSHD for the win and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most accurate and well built Burj Al Arabs in Minecraft. Now this is actually built by someone else and the link to that builder will be in the description below. He's actually got a download for this world and this is a pretty good world as well. It's got tons of skyscrapers in it and tons of creations in it so yeah i'll put a download link in the description so you can go check it out but yeah this is pretty much just a showcase of this building it's a really accurate representation of the real life building and yeah you can see from all angles this does look like the burj al arab unlike the one which i've built i guess from the front it doesn't look that much like the burj al arab but i find that this one from all angles looks like the actual building so yeah and it is actually pretty tall in this world it actually goes above the clouds i have actually turned clouds off just because it blocks the view of the building but here's a quick 360 view of the building and yeah it is pretty huge so you've got the sky view bar there you've got you know the all all the rooms here the elevator is at the back or the lift and yeah i have to say that this creation is you know amazing so we've actually got a small pool right here but if you guys didn't know that in that they've actually updated the real life Burj Al Arab they've actually got like a pool area here which I find is pretty cool as well but this is actually before that happened maybe he might maybe the creator of this world might actually update this and just build that pool at the back but yeah this is what the actual building is and before you guys ask I'm not going to do a tutorial on this this building is just way too complicated to build it's way too big and yeah all credit goes to the guy who built this again a link will be in the description below but yeah let's just take a look inside the world but yeah guys moving on to the inside of the building i have actually been here in real life if you didn't know but yeah, i'm going to be showing you how accurate this is and from this angle here the building still looks like the burj al arab we can see that we've got the fountain here and we've got the road here and the roads off to the side go towards the parking lot uh, we'll check that out later but here's the fountain looks pretty cool and just going inside the building right now so first of all we've got this fountain right here this is how it actually is in real life and we've got like a there's usually a reception here on this side one of these two sides is a reception and then if you go towards here there's actually a few shops down here uh, but yeah, it's not 100% to scale Burj Al Arab, but it is pretty accurate. But yeah, just going forward here, let's just look up. So just going forward here, up the stairs, we can see the inside of the hotel. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, pretty accurate to how it looks like in real life. So we can see all the different rooms in here. We've got uh, each, we've got different colours on the side. I can't really see any other colours. I can only see red it might just be the lighting uh, yeah it's just the lighting but yeah we'll just check out a few of the rooms and let's just start here so this is one of the rooms pretty good design inside and if we just look at the window looks pretty cool and yeah we've got a bed here we've got a bathroom here a shower basic stuff going back out let's just go onto the side we've got a few tables and chairs here as you can see uh, yeah we've got some seating here this is I think this is never never bricks but it looks really nice and yeah this is where you would usually have the food kind of not like a proper lunch but just kind of tea and things like that uh, but this is where it would be and actually on the side here this kind of row here, this is where the shops would be. So yeah, that's that. But just going through, and to be honest, instead of the glowstone, he could have added uh, sea lanterns, but I guess it wasn't available at the time. But yeah, let's just move on forward. Let's just check out this room. Just the same thing as the other rooms. I think all the rooms are the same, but yeah, just moving forward to here. Let's just go onto the lifts, onto the elevators. Let's just go up this one. Actually, let's just go down first. So going all the way to the bottom, we have a parking lot right here. It is actually pretty big and you can fit a lot of cars in here. Uh, again, this is the back of the building. 
and towards the front this is where uh, this is where I think down there that's where the kind of entrance is from the front so yeah this is the view off the parking lot it looks pretty good especially the lighting in here is you know the whole parking lot is well lit but yeah he done, he done a pretty good job here let's just go back inside to the lift and let's go to one of the rooms now so let's just go to this floor right here let's just go forward I think all the rooms are pretty much the same we'll just go to the top after this and yeah let's just check out this room again it's the same room design uh, the view out here is pretty good and I think that right there that's the Palm Islands it hasn't actually loaded that well but yeah we've got the standard stuff here the shower the room the bed and all that stuff so let's just go back out and let's just go to the front this time so yeah pretty good and here's a good view off the outside we, got, we can see all the trees we can see the uh, the road down there and yeah so let's just go back to the top in fact let's just go all the way to the top and just see what's down there or see what's up there but yeah moving on to the top now uh, we've got all these rooms I'm pretty sure all the levels are pretty identical but yeah let's just go right to the top okay so we've made it to the top let's just go to the front now and this this is above the actual hotel bit so we'll move on to the helipad now and then I'll show you guys the sky view bar so moving up here we're gonna see an amazing view right here this is the helipad this actually changes into a tennis court uh, afterwards I'm not sure how it's done and yeah you can't really see the view properly uh, it's just the render distance isn't that great overall it's an amazing building we've got the top right here and yeah let's just go back inside and I'll show you guys the sky view bar so moving back inside we'll go down this time so this is one floor below the helipad and we can see right here this is kind of like a giant suite area or like a meeting room I'm not too sure but yeah it's kind of like a private area here the rooms are exactly the same and yeah we'll just break through this and see what's down here so I guess this is kind of like a viewing platform let's just open the door here and yeah you can't really see much here but let's just go and fly above kind of like a viewing platform we've got the sun there and yeah let's just go down here now okay so now moving down into the building we'll go back to the lifts and we'll go one floor down so just moving on to here this is this is the last floor or the highest floor that you can go to where you can see the lobby area so you can see a brick drop down there and yeah let's just see one of these rooms I'm pretty sure it's gonna look the same and yeah it does look the same everything looks the same and we've got the view out here we've got the sky view bar right there we'll check that out right now and yeah let's just check out the view first before we go there so just going to the view area right here let's just go here this is pretty much the best room here you've got a view off the front so the interior design is exactly the same now let's just move on to the sky view bar let's go all the way to the back and let's just go up the stairs actually let's just check out what's here so I'm not sure what is down here empty room and let's just go forward right here and we've got a nice viewing platform here and we've got nothing here I think this is meant to be a room but he hasn't actually finished it so maybe he'll do that afterwards but yeah let's just move on to here let's go right to the top and let's just go to the sky view bar so moving on down here we've got the sky view bar right now so yeah the sky view bar isn't actually finished it's completely empty but I can see that you can fit quite a lot of things in here um, actually what is meant to be here is the entrance is kind of right um, if I can fully remember the entrance uh, you actually come up the lifts and then you go down here and then it's actually like a table going through the middle of the sky view bar and you can just walk around the table but yeah or it's, it's not like a table it's like a parting but yeah we've got the view right here and it's just all sea view as expected but yeah let's just go let's just come out here now and let's just see this so just breaking this now right here this is actually meant to be a lift like all the way down to the bottom is actually it's actually meant to be a all lift area so you can so as you're going up the lift you can see the view 
but I guess he hasn't made the lift because uh, it's just all building here. But yeah, this is how it looks like. And let's just go back up to the sky view bar. So moving down here now, this will probably be the last bit that we'll see inside the building. Uh, we was already here. So yeah, we've, ju we've just seen this. And let's just go back outside and we'll go down to the pool. But yeah, going back to the lobby area, the same thing right there. We'll go down here and I guess I think at the back is like a, uh, the pool is right there. So we'll just see that right now. Right here we've got the exit towards the back area and right here we've got the pool. So yeah, that's that. A pretty interesting design he's got down here. I actually use sandstone all the way through, but I think this looks good as well. Uh, but yeah, this is the building. Pretty amazing. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Also, what would you give this out of five? Being five being the best. So yeah, I'll put a poll on the screen right now. Just give your rating on this building. I'm pretty sure most of you guys will rate five. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty amazing building. To be honest, I can't do much better than this. I can't build anything near as great as this. This guy is just an excellent builder. But yeah, this is what the building actually is. And one more thing, let's just go down into the parking lot. So right here, let's just check out what's down here. So we've got obsidian here. Uh, what I would use is actually grey concrete or black concrete instead. But I guess it wasn't out at that time. But yeah, we've been down here before. So we've got the whole parking lot. And yeah, that's that. The only thing which I would say with this build right here is towards the entrance right here. I'll say just leave some spaces for the cars. I guess this is spaces right here where you can park some cars. But usually near this entrance bit, there's actually a few cars parked out here. Uh, he hasn't actually done that. But I guess you can fit a few cars here. Other than that, this building is an accurate representation of what it is in real life. And yeah. So yeah, this is a showcase of this building. Again, tell me what you guys think. And I might do a few more showcases uh, in the future. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what you think. And yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. Let's try and hit 100 likes on this video. I know we usually hit about 50 likes, but let's just try and get this uh, video out there. But yeah, guys, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.